Hello, in this short video, I want to look at what we have included in the uh, 0190 release of uh, Chocolate Gooey. So on the release notes on uh, doc.chocolate.org, what we'll find is uh, there's a couple of warnings in here that I want to talk about first. Um, so the first one is that the dependencies of the Chocolate Gooey package itself has changed. So what we're now saying is we're taking an explicit dependency on uh, 0111 or higher of Chocolate. Now that's due to the fact that we're now using functionality that only shipped in 0.11.0 of uh, Chocolatey, uh, and in order to use that in Chocolate GUI, we need to have that dependency tree in play. Uh, the second warning here is if you are a commercial customer who is using uh, the Chocolate GUI license extension, which lights up some of the functionality, uh, commercial functionality within Chocolate GUI itself. Uh, if you install 0.19.0 of uh, Chocolatey GUI, you need to make sure that you're also using uh, 030 of the Chocolate GUI license extension. Uh, now we can enforce the dependency chain uh, going down the way. So if you install the Chocolate GUI license extension, it will make sure that Chocolate GUI 0190 is installed, but we can't enforce it the other way. So if you are installing Chocolate GUI first, uh, then make sure that you also include the Chocolate GUI license extension if you have it. Okay. Uh, so the first thing I want to point out is that Across all of the chocolatey products, uh, we have now uplifted to uh, a, the newer version of Log4Net because uh, there was a security finding in uh, Log4Net. So we started that process in Chocolate itself. We updated Chocolate to use the latest Log4Net, and now there's kind of uh, there is a pattern of updating all of the chocolatey uh, core products to use both the new version of Chocolatey and also uh, the latest version of Log4Net. So that's what that was all about. Uh, there's more information in the issue if you're interested in that. The second one is to make use of the Chocolatey CLI export command. Um, so what this is about is that if we uh, go into Chocolate GUI here, there is this uh, export button that we've had in Chocolate GUI for a long while. And what this will do is it will generate us a uh, packages.config file that contains uh, information about, uh, that's not really what I want it to be, packages.config. Uh, it will generate us a uh, file that contains the information about all of the currently installed packages. So if I open this up, we'll see that we've got all the information about what packages are installed and what version that they're installed with. Now, Prior to this release, uh, we were using kind of custom functionality within Chocolate GUI to provide that information. But in this release, we're using the new uh, Choco export command. So Chocolate itself now has the ability to generate a packages.config file that contains information about what's currently installed in the system. So within Chocolate GUI, we're now using that exact same code. So rather than duplicating code between Chocolate and Chocolate GUI, we're just bringing it all together so that it's all using the same code base. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so there wasn't uh, much real real new functionality uh, added in Chocolate GUI in this release, but it was part of an overall uplift of all the Chocolate products for security reasons and basically to bring everything together uh, uh, a little bit closer. So hopefully this has been useful to you. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Thank you very much.